Hi everyone, I am Brother Hosanna David. Welcome to Eagle Eye Opener. I want to share a word of encouragement with us. We are living in a time that people are expressing their hatred for God and for Jesus Christ. A lot of people don't want to identify with Jesus Christ, neither with the truth. John chapter 21 uh, we have the conversation between Jesus Christ and John and Peter conversation between Jesus Christ and Simon Peter uh, Jesus Christ asked him in verse 15 he said Simon son of Jonas lovest thou me more than these do you love me more than these and Peter said yeah Lord Thou knowest, I love thee. And Jesus Christ told him, Feed my lambs. We are living in a time that a lot of people are turning their backs on God. The world in general is going satanic. Even some of those who say we are for God, they are not actually for God in their practice. Like what God was telling me. To this morning or yesterday evening that people are rejecting him and he told me three ways that people actually turn their back on him people, how people are turning their back and rejecting him and I, I was writing them down I can't remember everything now but he told me that a lot of people who profess to know him to love him uh, actually engaged him when it comes to their behavior, their deeds. They reject God, they reject God's power. They don't uh, act what they believe. So they profess something with their mouth and do another thing with their actions. But today I want to encourage us that even as we await the kingdom of our God, let us not failed God. Jesus Christ may be asking us in one way or the other, do you love me more than these? Do you love me more than these? Some of us will love our government so much more than Jesus Christ. Some of us will love our husbands, will love our partners, will love our wives, our children more than Jesus Christ. Jesus may be asking you in your own situation do you love me more than this if you we really love god if we love jesus christ we ought to show it in the way we relate with him and the way we relate with others the lord wants us to show love by our deeds he asks peter again if i whenever i read this passage i feel each time i read it quietly i really feel the pains of Jesus Christ uh, in verse 16 he said feed my sheep uh, 17 he says Simon son of Jonas lovest thou me this is really a very heavy question for Jesus Christ to ask a simple question same question three good times do you love the Lord if you love the Lord, then it is not about strength. Strength may fail, but love does not fail. You may not have strength. You may not have money to save God. You may not have uh, the health to actually keep moving on. But if you, you don't need strength to love, you just need God's grace to continue to love. Love is stronger than death. Love is stronger than sickness. Love is stronger than poverty. Love is stronger than anything you can ever think of. If you have love in your heart for God, even when everything fails, your love will still be standing strong. I want you to just fix your heart on the Lord and love Him with the whole of your heart, with all your strength, with all your mind, and with all your soul. If you love Him, even when situations around you are pushing you to deny your God, 
you won't just deny him. You you can't just deny him because the love is consuming the whole of your heart. I don't know how much zeal you have for God and his kingdom that is to come. I want to tell you that if you love money, if you love women, if you love men, if you love uh, fame, all these things, they are going to fade away. But if you love the Lord with all your heart, you have a reward in heaven. And the, the amount of love you have for God determines how much you are going to sacrifice for the kingdom of God and for his name's sake and for the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Lord is no longer here with us except his spirit. And he is looking from looking down from heaven and wanting us, expecting us to show love to him. He may be asking you right now, even in your workplace, do you love me more than this? If you love him more than every other thing, then we should try more than what we are doing now. Let love propel us. Let love propel us. Let love ginger us. Let love push us to do what is right always. It's my prayer that the Lord will help us to make the kingdom. Don't forget that Jesus Christ is near. If we don't show him love now, there is no other time that we can show him love. In the place people are saying Jesus Christ is not God, Jesus Christ is not Lord, he was just an ordinary prophet. Let us stand and stand for him, even at the darkest moments where everybody is denying it. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Subscribe. Bye.